Covering South Georgia, one of the biggest football rivalries of the region going down tomorrow. The Valdosta Lounge Warnersville Classic. The week typically jam packed with fundraising events for both schools. Region? Yeah. Try the country. Oh, okay, really? Yeah, it's a big Teaching time football matchup. There we go. <laughs> yeah, just this week alone. Uh, but due to COVID, most of those couldn't happen this year. Uh, the events that is. However, annual Wintersville golf tournament that was played. Amber Spradley was there and caught up with the team. I think one of the mega rivalries in, in the nation. That's a big game, a uh, huge game. Lowndes and Valdosta head football coaches gearing up to go head to head Friday for the Wintersville Classic. We're excited about the opportunity, or I am, uh, this Friday night. I know our players are too. We'll see uh, come tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, you know, if, 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 if we've done enough. I think we've worked very hard. Probably too hard. The two giving speeches Thursday at the 12th annual Wintersville Golfing Tournament. Naturally, the rivalry has created a competition. Taylor Biddle and Skip Long are team captains of this Ryder Cup style event, sponsored by the Azalea City Civic Club. Alumni, businessmen, and other community members facing off in blue Valdosta shirts or gray lounges, raising $5,000 for both school systems. For, you know, a lot of stuff being canceled and maybe not being able to raise the kind of money that they typically do. Uh, we're just fortunate to be able to do that and to be able to provide in the way that we can through this tournament. Tickets for the Wintersville Football Classic are still on sale at Lowndes and Valdosta High, which Valdosta Superintendent Dr. Todd Kaysen says is rare. We're still in the middle of a global pandemic, and of course it's going to be televised, so those two factors I think are impacting the sale of the tickets this year. The game will be broadcasted by ESPN. From our band to our cheerleaders and of course our football program, it's great national exposure for them. and. And we're just excited that they have this opportunity. Checks and trophies will be presented to the golf tournament winners on the field Friday. In Valdosta, Amber Spratley, WCTV Eyewitness News. And the Wintersville Golf Tournament has raised more than $100,000 over the years. Tickets for the big game tomorrow night can be purchased in the morning at either school's ticket office.